Hey, you know what time it is? It's time to talk about batteries. Let's talk about 48 volt batteries. This is a question that keeps popping up in our comments and our emails and stuff. It's how to make 48 volt batteries out of like our 24 volt batteries or our 12 volt batteries that we're selling, right? Today we're gonna to talk about the 24 volt, how to make them into 48. So these are our lithium iron phosphate 24 volt 50 amp hour batteries, right? Uh, very popular, uh, they're selling on our website. You will have to put, they don't come with a BMS, so you have to do a BMS. And we have a, a BMS that bolts right on top of here and it connects uh, and you can find that on our website too. But people are saying, hey, I don't want 24 volt, I want 48. And this is a popular question because, well, um, 48 volt systems are very popular. You know, if you're powering your like a uh, entire house, it, you're most likely gonna do it at 48 volts instead of 24, right? And so how do you do that? We don't sell a 48 volt battery, but you could use two of these 24 volts to make them into 48. And this is how you do it. It's very, very simple. If your load is small, like about 50 amps or something like that, then what you can do is use the, uh, XT90 connectors that we have here. We, we've uh, included those in there standard, just in case, because a lot of people are just powering something small, you know, a little inverter, you know, something that is 50 amps or less, then you could use that. And here's how you do it. You're gonna have to get a Y, right? And these are available in a lot of places. Uh, Amazon, I will include a link to one of these on Amazon and I'm gonna show you how to connect those. This is by far the easiest way to do it. Probably gonna have to put them uh, side by side like this because or else this won't fit. So you have to do that by connecting this like this. Let's see, is this the one? Yes. So this negative then gets connected to the positive. See right here, the negative gets connected to the positive. Then you put it in there. Now these are 24 volts. So there are around 20 something, 26 volts, I think right now. Here on this connector, now they're about 56 volts and that's because now it's a 48, right? And so now this, you can connect that to your um, 48 volt inverter, 48 volt load. Now you do have to still use a BMS. So you'll have to put a BMS on the negative side here. Uh, and so you use the these connectors right here so that you can connect all the balance leads into your BMS, right? So yeah, you, I guess you could use them without a BMS, but you run into the risk of having this battery go in balance and then they inflate and then you kind of ruin them, right? So if you just want to make sure that your battery is going to be safe, it's going to last forever, just use a 48 volt invert uh, BMS and then connect the, the balance leads here and then connect uh, the BMS on the negative here, right? Uh, and there's many ways you can do that. But let me show you another way. If you were doing like a big system here um, and you wanted to do it uh, like with a bigger load, then what you can do is instead of using these connectors, uh, something somewhere around 100 amps, let's say, right? Then you can use the, the screw-on terminals. And these ones here, you just go the same thing. You go from the positive to the negative. So you just make a little jumper in here and then you go positive, uh, negative here and then positive there. And then you go to your load through the BMS, right? Um, but also some people have asked, you know, what about like bigger loads? These are eight, one, two, three cells that could put out like 150 amps, no problem. They don't get hot, we've done tests on these, right? So they're, they're, they're like power cells, right? And so in order, if you wanted to do that, then I would suggest you go straight into these. Uh, terminals right here. These are, you know, the screw terminals because these are straight into the battery tab. It doesn't go through the PCB here. And even though the PCB now we have like a reinforcement, we have four layers of one ounce copper in there that can handle about a hundred amps, no problem. They, they just start getting hot after that, right? Uh, if you want no heat whatsoever, then I would suggest uh, if you're doing a power hungry application, then you put them on here on the actual things, right? But some people have asked, uh, what about doing a thing where you can combine them because they're gonna use a bunch of these, right? And so this is probably not the best way to do it, right? And so they've asked, hey, couldn't, couldn't we just join these mechanically so that we can make less packs and we have less connectors and all this other stuff? And the answer is yes. I actually made this board uh, a while ago and then I just never did anything with it. So this is a perfect spot to 
mentioned that this video is sponsored by PCB Way. This is the company that I use in China to make all these PCBs, right? Uh, you submit your designs and then they print them and then, you know, in a couple of days they ship. And so they come to me and so it's a great service to use. They're sponsoring this video. They sponsored a lot of my videos in this channel. So I want to thank them for doing that. I will put a link to this where you can buy this because they also have a, uh, a marketplace where I upload my designs and then you can just go and click buy that design and then you get the, the boards themselves. So you don't have to download the Gerber file. Uh, you, you can if you want to, if you want to use some other service or whatever, but you could just buy them directly on that service, right? So this right here, will allow you to use, uh, make these two battery packs into a single one. And that will be a one pack that is 48 volts. So let me show you how to do that. You will have to take these packs apart, take a bunch of these bolts out and then use longer bolts. Cause these are, you know, this length to do these size pack, but you'll need something that is twice as big. So these ones right here are about eight inches, um, long and this is the bolt set. You will need four of these bolts and you will need the 48 volt uh, top PCB. And this is how you do it. First, we're gonna take them apart. We're gonna take all these bolts out. Right, right now it's a great time to note the differences here. These ones have like little PCB uh, uh, spacers where these ones, uh, this one has these metal ones, right? And so the reason is this is what the batteries came originally with, but not all of them came with them. So we had to make uh, these to be able to build these batteries the same way, right? So it's just a spacer. They're the same thickness. And so that's why, and so they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter which ones you get, they work the same way. So next, what you'll have to do is now, is you have to take these screws off and these screws off, take the, the inner uh, boards out and then combine the two. So let's do that now. Now that you got boards on the outside, no boards on the inside, it's just a raw cell there. And then this one has uh, this, you know, protective little foam here. Now what we can do, you take this thing off here and then you put it together. There we go. And it just goes straight they just interconnect very easily so now you put this guy back so i'm gonna flip this on its side just so i can all right so to put the screws on it helps to put this battery right to put it all together and then on the edge of a table sort of like this so that you can then just push your screws down now we're gonna double up take the the boards, the PCB boards from the inside and move them to the outside. Now, keep in mind that this is no longer going to be accurate because this is now going to be a 48 volt, 50 amp hour battery. And on the one side, these boards say tw uh, 24 volts, 50 amp hours. And the other says 12 volts, 100 amp hours, right? So we use the same board for both batteries. But in this case, well, they're not longer going to be accurate because we just changed this to a 48. So now you just put the screws through here. Now, before you tighten these top ones right here, it's probably better to put the top uh, board in here because then after that, uh, it might be, might get hard once these are, you know, compressed. Okay, now that they're all tightened on the top, now we just do these ones over here. You don't have to tighten them too much, just hand tighten. Ah. 
and there you go that is 148 volt battery one thing it's gonna be it's 16 s lithium iron phosphate uh 48 volt 50 amp power so 2.4 kilowatt hours so how does this compare right to other 48 volt batteries well is this one right here jacoper is 48 volts 100 amp power right so this is exactly twice the battery that is this so it would take two of these to equal that right and uh price wise this is about 400 dollars plus the board and stuff so yeah it's like a like 450 dollars compared to uh well this is 1700 dollars right so two of these would be like 800 maybe 900 as opposed to 1700 so those that's how it compares lithium iron phosphate this is long lasting just as as much as that right there it's just a bit more work because you have to put it together uh but for those of you who need uh, a lot of power right with these a123 cells and these are a good option all right so after trying this board for uh the first time there on the actual battery i realized that i wanted to make some changes and mainly here are the changes i wanted to change these terminals from here this portion to that portion here because they get in the way of those uh, plates on the bottom right and so they bottom out and they flange out they bulge out so this this is not a good position it is a good position electrically because it's so close to the actual terminals but it's better over here due to fitment right and so in order to do that i have to change those put them over here then i have to move this uh plug because that used to be on the original version used to be way up here right so i have to move it this way also i have to move this one this way so i can move that the negative uh, or the positive uh, terminal to this side, right? Uh, other than that, I just added that this project is sponsored by PCB Way, uh, and that's about it. Everything else, the fitment was pretty good, so this board is gonna be ready. This is gonna be version 1.1, right? So second iteration um, the, of this board, and that's the one that I'm gonna make available, and I'm gonna upload to PCB Way, our the sponsor of this project, so that you can download this if you need it or want it to use this on your own batteries this is the cool thing about um open source projects is that you can just get the parts get the the, the project files and then just uh use them for your own purposes right so i want to thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye